Hello, I'm Sensei Alex Kukuyo, North American Correspondent for Buddhist Door Global. Thanks for joining me for this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's talk is, How Do We Know We're Buddhas? Before we get into that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. So the central ontological principle of Buddhism is that all living beings are Buddhas, meaning that we all possess Buddha nature and that we are all able to realize enlightenment and attain Nirvana. But how do we know this is true? How do we know that the Buddha and all the matriarchs and patriarchs who came after him weren't just blowing smoke? Well, to get an idea, we have to do a bit of a thought experiment. Let's say that if something has a nature, then acting in its nature is beneficial for it, and acting outside of its nature is harmful. Then we could test the nature of that object by seeing what helps it grow and what kills it. For example, the house plant behind me is called a snake plant. It's a desert variety, meaning that it likes to be watered sparingly about once a month, and it does well on either highlight situations, or in low light situations. So I can test the nature of the plant one of two ways. I can read plant books to learn about it, or I can do trial and error. I could try watering it every day and see if it does well, and then I could try watering it sparingly and see what happens then. Now, I know from experience that snake plants do like to be watered sparingly, so this isn't something we'll do on today's video. However, I think you get the idea because we can use the same thinking to test whether we ourselves are Buddhas. Because if we are, then anything that's in accordance with Buddha nature will be beneficial to us, and anything that's not in accordance with Buddha nature will be harmful. Now, to do this experiment, we can use the six perfections of Buddhism, which are generosity, morality, patience, vigor, concentration, and wisdom. These are the paramitas, or perfections, that we manifest in order to bring our Buddha nature into daily life. And of course, as we manifest them in da daily life, they help us see our Buddha nature. So it's a very healthy, life-affirming cycle. So we can just test this out and see, how do I feel when I practice generosity? What is my life like when I'm moral? Is my day better or worse if I practice patience? And if the answer is yes, these things do improve my life, then we can take that as evidence that we are Buddhas. In the same way that if watering this houseplant sparingly is proof that it is of a desert variety. And, well, if these things end up being harmful, that might mean something else. But I have a sneaking suspicion that you will be able to validate your own Buddha nature via this thought experiment. Amitabha.